boys and girls, and welcome to Miss Jessica's Kitchen. Today, we're going to be talking about making some pizza. Not any ordinary pizza. You see, we're on a mission to help Mary Mozzarella make her famous Nana's classic pizza a la italiana. See, we have Mary Mozzarella's very own family recipe classic pizza. I hope you'll join me, but first, make sure you wash your hands and come on aboard. I'll meet you in a jiffy. I'm just going to put my apron on for you. Welcome back, boys and girls. As you can see, I have my handy-dandy apron on. I hope you have one, too, because I don't want to get too dirty. The only thing we're going to be dirty today are our hands. Make sure they're washed, and let's get ready. I've gone ahead and pulled out Grandma Nana's famous recipe. Now, if you come a little closer, you'll notice we have a lot of fractions on here. We're going to be talking about one half. Do you know what this one is? Three quarters, that's right. And what about this one? Great, one quarter. Cookies. Today we'll be making one pizza. But hold on, I just got a call from Mary Mozzarella while you were washing your hands. She mentioned some friends are coming over for dinner tonight, which means, boys and girls, we need to make not one, but two pizzas. Now, if we're making two pizzas, how can we fix this recipe in order to make two instead of one? So let's start by looking at our ingredients. Pizza dough. Here are our two pizza doughs. I did this after Mary Mozzarella called us. These are ready to go, as you can see. And I'll leave these to the side. Next up, half a cup of marinara sauce. But remember, we're making two pizzas. Hey boys and girls, let's work together to find out how to double one half to make sure we have enough marinara sauce for two pizzas. Now you have enough sauce for two pizzas. Okay boys and girls, now that we have put the sauce equally on each pizza, remember half a cup per pizza, you want to just spread the sauce just a bit. Remember? Let's go back to Mary Mozzarella's recipe to find out how much cheese we need. Let's recap. We got the pizza dough. We added our marinara sauce. Next up, a quarter cup of mozzarella cheese. See if you can solve this problem in Educreations. How do we double one quarter or one fourth? Come back with the answer and help me solve this double pizza mystery. I'll see you in a bit. Hey boys and girls, welcome back. I hope you figured out the answer in Educreations. I don't know if I have enough cheese here or not. If we double one fourth a cup of cheese, how much cheese will I need for two pizzas? Share your answer. If you got one half a cup, you are correct. Congratulations. Let me finish up shredding some cheese and we'll get back to our measuring cup. Let's see if I have half a cup. Go ahead and dump what you have in your measuring cup. Let's see, where's half a cup on this measuring cup? Right there, perfect. Half a cup. Now remember, each pizza called for one fourth of a cup. So make sure to distribute all of this cheese over both pizzas. Let's give it a try. My pizzas are here, and now we're going to top it with some yummy mozzarella cheese. I'd say that's about half. I like to just sprinkle over the top. Now, I've used about half, which means this goes on the next pizza. Just sprinkle. Make sure not to sprinkle over the edges. Make sure every little corner gets just enough. Your pizzas should now look like this. 
Let's go back to Mary Mozzarella's lovely recipe. We took care of the pizza dough, the one half cup of marinara sauce, the quarter cup of mozzarella cheese. Now we need a quarter cup of pepperoni slices. Now, I would send you to Edu Creations, but we already figured out how to double one quarter cup. Do you remember what one fourth or one quarter is if you double it? If you answered half a cup, you're right. So I'm just gonna get some slices and fill them in my cup, just like this. Making sure that it reaches about half a cup. Now what you wanna do is make sure you separate the pizza slices and just place them on your yummy pizza. This is looking so yummy, I can't wait to bake it. Ready for you. We've taken care of the dough, the one half cup of marinara sauce, one quarter cup of mozzarella cheese, and one quarter cup of pepperoni slices. Now it's time to bake. Look at our pizzas, boys and girls. You've done a great job. You should be very proud of yourselves. I'm going to go ahead and get this in the oven. Now make sure your parents help you out with this. The oven should be set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to put your pizzas in there for about 20 minutes. Check back soon to see the progress of our delicious Grandma Nona's Italian pizzas. See you in a bit. Congratulations, boys and girls. I just pulled out these two deliciously looking, beautiful pizzas out of the oven. Thank you for all your help. I'm sure Mary Mozzarella is very thankful as well. Hope you make some pizza with your family some night. It's not that hard, and you'll learn a lot about fractions. Have a great day. Till next time on Cooking with Fractions. Azúcar!